Most people recognize Tim Gunn from his Emmy-nominated role on the hit reality show Project Runway. But his commitment to the arts is, is really personal. It helped him live his truth as a gay man in an age when it was not always popular. I spoke with Gunn about the evolution of being gay in America and his work to ensure that it gets better. Tim Gunn, he's the impeccably dressed and incredibly fair fashion mentor on Lifetime's Project Runway. And there's that trademark line of advice. Make it work, make it work. But beyond the style, he's a passionate advocate for gay rights, especially marriage equality. As a nation, we, just, we have a responsibility to each other and to say it's not correct to take away people's rights. So when the decisions were made on Dome and Prop 8, your question then was? Oh, I was exhilarated. I mean, I was thrilled about it. Yes. I suppose that had the Supreme Court come down stronger uh, and more forcefully, that there would have been a lot of backlash. What I'm demonstrating is a little bit of impatience. I'd like this to move forward a little, more, a little quicker. You've seen how uh, the country has changed in its views of equal rights. Describe for me the change over your lifetime. As a teen, I didn't know what I was sexually, but I knew what I wasn't. I knew I, knew I was not a heterosexual man. But when it came to, to gay role models, I mean, we had Paul Lind on Bewitched. We had the mincing, prancing decorators in the Doris Day movies. I mean, it was so limiting and, and, and so things that people would laugh at. He shared his struggle through a message for the Trevor Project's It Gets Better campaign. As a 17-year-old youth who was in quite a bit of despair, I attempted to kill myself. And I'm very happy today that that attempt was unsuccessful. It will get better, I promise. Tell me about 17-year-old Tim. Um, desperately unhappy. It was just painful, and I, I didn't see hope. I didn't see a future for me. Um, certainly nothing appealing. And there was a very serious intervention, and I was hospitalized for a long time. I resisted every single um, bit of help people were giving me. When were you convinced that it was okay to live your truth? It was during my experience as an art student. When you study art and design, it is, if you're doing it well, you're delving into the depths of who you are. Um, and that can be very painful, but it's also very relevatory. It led to uh, graduating and having a studio, and it eventually led to teaching the discipline. Um, because I do love it so much, and I do believe in it so profoundly. And, and few things get me as exhilarated as seeing a young person have a kind of epiphany about who he or she is. Go, go, go. Do it. Go so. Work, work, work. One of the more candid conversations I've ever had in front of a camera, but it was also fun. Yeah, that is an amazing interview. Yeah. I mean, he's just so honest and you can tell emotional and also trying to speak out to help others. Now, after the interview, we actually did some shopping and he put this together. Ooh. Yeah, he put this together for me. I saw this. Let's green and pink paisley tie and I was like Tim please do something with this so he picked the shirt and he's like wear it with gray and then put like the white pocket square why did in he there. say gray I don't know but when Tim <laughs> says wear gray you wear gray <laughs> so um, well, there's so much more um, we actually later in the show we have more of the interview with Tim Gunn including why he made a surprising uh, personal choice for the last three decades we we'll hmm. talk about that Wait, you got to give us a hint. You have to give us a hint on this. Um, it has to do with being happily single, mm. as he says he is. That's the uh, hint. Um, you'll want to stay tuned, people. That's all I'm going to say. You're going to go, say what? Yes. <laughs>